Hey YouTube, just wanted to show you that I got my uh, Raspberry Pi, my Retro Pi, uh, set up and working with my Unreal Airs, and this is how I did it. So I got the M Classic. I have it set to the regular upscale mode, which upscales um, the signal to 1080p, and um, I have this powered here uh, directly into my power switch, which is, this is connected dipped into the power switch because this didn't have enough power. It does have USBs here, but did not provide enough power for my uh, M Classic. So I have to plug it in directly to power. Then you see the USB coming back out of the M Classic and it's going into um, my adapter, which this is the Unreal adapter. And you can he see here the HDMI in, you've got the USB-C out, but instead of going to the glasses, I'm going to, sorry for the mess, my Anchor HDMI hub. Uh, this hub is also powered. Look at this cable. This is going all the way up to that same power here. And you can just plug it, you know, wherever um, has sufficient power, but that's how I did it. And um, so that Anchor's powered. And this, uh, connected to the HDMI of the Anchor, is my GoFanco adapter. And uh, from the GoFanco adapter, uh, this is also uh, powered as well. Um, so from here, from the GoFanco, you can see it go into my glasses. And from my glasses, you can see Metal Slug. Sorry. There's Metal Slug right there. And everything is functional, working. You don't hear any audio because I wasn't able to get the HDMI audio to work. However, on the Raspberry Pi, um, I have my RetroPi set to auto. So it detects my three millimeter audio first and it's going into my Bose Sport headphones. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that is Metal Slug right there through, through the three millimeter audio. So yeah. Really happy this works. Um, I just finished um, getting my SNES Classic that's using Hackchi up and running. Uh, go check that video out if you have one of those SNES Classics. Next video will be the Genesis Mini. Thanks, and thanks for watching.